Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these easy self-binding napkins. You can find a printable PDF under free patterns on our websites with all the measurements. So first things first, we're gonna start with our large and small square. I'm gonna take our large square and fold it in half. If you have the G easy point trimmers, we're going to be using the, the 90 degree point trimmer with the 45 degree corners to chop off our corners for the large square. So I just fold it in half. I take my trimmer and I align it on so the blunt edges are even with each side and I just trim the corners off. I'm gonna do the same on the other two corners. And now we're gonna layer these together, the large one with the small one. So how I do that, I just fold my big piece in half. I make creases on the corners. I do it on both sides. And I also do it on the small square. So then all I have to do is right sides together. I can match up the creases and then I pin it. And I pin it in a few places on each side. So you wanna pull this up to match up the creases and pin them on all sides, like I have done here. So I matched up the creases. And so these corners are gonna be kind of flappy like this. And we're gonna take this to our sewing machine. We're going to be sewing all the way around the edges, but we are going to have to leave an opening to turn everything right side out. So I'm gonna put a little clip just to remind me once I get back to that place to leave that opening. So I'm gonna start a little bit off from where that opening is going to be. And just with your regular quarter inch seam allowance, I'm gonna take a few stitches and back stitch so that that opening kind of stays nice and open. And then sew all the way. And as you can see, that shorter piece is going to extend. And we're gonna sew all the way through here. And I actually clip my seams here because we're gonna have to readjust for the other side. So I sew all the way through here, but then I'm gonna pull this over to align the next side and then pin it again here right at the edge. But this part, we won't only wanna start sewing right where that seam starts. So right here, we don't wanna sew all the way through on this side. So I put my, I like to put just my needle down where I like to start and then put my foot down and then I'm ready to stitch all the way. Now I have sewn all the way around and I've left an opening here to turn everything. And now we have these weird kind of flaps on the, on the corners, but we're gonna stitch these down. So what we wanna do is pull these out like this, kind of align these sides together and make sure this seam is kind of folded down like this. So I like to leave it like this and I just put clips on these corners to hold them together. So I can make sure to pull them out, fold that seam down and clip it. And now we're gonna stitch that edge down to make that miter on the corners. So what you wanna do here is bring this into your machine and you want your needle to start sewing right at the corner and then sew a quarter inch down this way. So I actually like to start with my needle down cause then I can just place this right up against the needle and I know it's in place and then I can put my foot down and then just stitch all the way down. I like to back stitch here a little bit and then just clip. I'm gonna do that with all four corners. Before we turn this, I like to just clip my corners a little bit on the diagonal, just to ease that little miter. 
just take your corner and clip it like this on all four. Oh, I got a little scrunched from my back stitch. But then we're just going to turn this through the opening. It's nice to use a little chopstick or something to push out the corners to really make them pointy, nice and pointy. And then we're going to really press this. So I'm going to take this over here and you can see that opening here. It kind of folds automatically, even with the edges. So you want to make sure that's even. I always start with this side and it's nice to have steam on your iron. My iron needs to warm up. And then you want to just press this out and you want to make sure that you're pressing the seam away from the middle piece. So then the sides get pressed really nice and flat all the way around. Then our last step of making the napkins is just top stitching right on the inside, catching that opening and closing that up. You want to match the seam of your main fabric and go all the way around just like we have done right here. Stitch all the way around and that's all we need for our beautiful g Easy napkins. I hope you enjoyed making these fast and fun g Easy napkins. You can make them for any day or any season. My name is Gudrun from GE Designs and I'll see you next time.